Hi, I'm Tom and Homi from Dell EMC. In this demonstration, I will give you a quick overview of the new Parflex 3.5 HTML user interface. Starting with version 3.5, a new HTML user interface is now available. Parflex UI is installed on a Parflex presentation server. In a web browser, you can enter the IP address of the Parflex presentation server and the Parflex UI login page is displayed. Enter the username and password and then click login. The various panes in the user interface display information that is beneficial for the storage administrator, such as system health, capacity, performance and configuration. You can review the overall status of the system, drill down to object level and monitor these objects. The performance view is the default view. This view gives you real-time performance metrics such as bandwidth, IOPS, and latency of your Parflex system. Under the health view, you can see a diagram of the system overview. From there, you can navigate to the alerts tab. Parflex generates alerts that can be viewed in the Parflex UI and REST outputs, and can be also sent as SNMP traps and as alerts to the SRS systems. The capacity view gives you information about thin provisioning savings as well as compression savings of the overall system. By navigating to the protection domains tab, you can see useful live data on each and every PD configured in your system. In addition, you can create additional PDs and modify existing PD settings such as renaming it or setting network throttling per protection domain. Under the More tab, you can also set the Read Flash Cache feature for that specific PD. By navigating to the Storage Pools tab, you can see real-time information for each and every storage pool. The Overview tab shows the storage pool topology and details, and you can also see the performance and capacity metrics per storage pool. In addition, the new UI allows you to perform storage pool commands. You can set IO priority or rebuild and rebalance the storage pool directly from the UI. You can also change the capacity settings by increasing or decreasing the capacity thresholds. The SDS manages the capacity of a single server and acts as a backend for data access. The SDS is installed on all servers, contributing storage devices to Parflex. These devices are accessed through the SDS. Under the SDS tab, you can see the storage data server's details, and you can also see important metrics such as topology, performance, and IO size per SDS as well as the IP addresses and ports in use. In addition, you can perform multiple tasks such as adding devices to existing SDSs, adding SDSs and modify the performance profile or put the SDS in maintenance mode. The SDC is a lightweight device driver that exposes PowerFlex volumes as block devices to the application that resides on the same server on which the SDC is installed. It can be any Linux, Windows, or ES6A host. Under the SDC tab, you can see the storage data client's details. You can see important metrics such as topology, performance, and IO size per SDC, as well as the mapped volumes. Also, you can perform multiple operations such as mapping or unmapping volumes to the SDC and modifying the performance profile. I hope you will find this demo useful and thank you very much for watching.